wanted to do a pretty comprehensive comparison between five different uh, ionizers that are electric ionizers and then also a two portable ionizers and the Alkastream. So we'll get a chance to see all these different things. Now I'm going to start out with the Enagic, which is just the first one in line here. And I'm going to pour, start out with just the first level. All right, I'm going to move it up to the next level and I'll go ahead and start the pH meter in here just uh, measuring pH of this. All right. And then Now, when it says Kangen water 8.5, 9.0, and 9.5, you'll see that it really does not mean that. It's just, you know, like labeling it level 1, 2, and 3. Just like any other ionizer, basically. All right, so I've got these three levels, and I'll just show you what the pH is of the first one. Now, our source water in St. Louis is pretty high alkaline. So this is coming in high on the alkalinity, 10.4 for Kangen water, for the first level. Just call it level one. All right, now I'm going to shift it over to the next one, and you can see that the pH did raise. It's up to like 11. And then for the third one, it's raised some more up to 11.4. And you know, with any ionizer, you want to see that you can get different levels of ionization. And with any ionizer, it will depend on what your source water is, what you're going to actually come up with in the end. All right, I'm going to measure ORP now. And the uh, first one is just kind of like a light ionization. It's a little bit negative, but uh, I'll say about a negative, <clears throat> like about a negative 30-ish, about a negative 30. All right, now level two is like about a negative 400 or 450. Might even uh, go up to negative 500, so I'll just let it settle down for a little tiny bit. Yeah, I'm going to call it at negative 500. There we go. All right, and then level three is better than that. <laughs> so probably I'm going to guess up around negative 700. All right, I'm just going to call it at a negative 700. All right, well, now I'm going to move on down to the next one in, in the row. And you can compare just as we go. There's This is the best that I can do is just two brothers with this type of a setup. 
sometimes I'll have them pouring at the same time and things like that. That's a good idea. And you can look at a lot of my other comparisons on my website as well. I just like the idea of having one where I compare all these ionizers at the same time. All right, so let me try to figure out how to get the water going in this one. <laughs> Sorry. Um, all right. Hmm. Don't think I have it turned on. There we go. All right. So to well this is going to clean itself let me just let it flow this direction while it's cleaning itself it's under washing. so i push the alkaline button but it's going to do a washing oops let's try to get some water supply here oh i see sorry I've got so many little hoses hooked up, I just didn't have the water supply hooked up to this one quite. Oops. It's under washing. Oh, I guess it's uh, pouring level one now. I'll let it just kind of pour for just a little bit after that acid wash. All right, I'll go ahead and pour level one. And now I'm gonna switch to the level two. And I go ahead and pour. The screen slightly changes colors when you boost up the levels from the light blue to the dark blue to the purple. And now, just pushing number three once more just suspends the water supply. And I can also turn it off at the source as well. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start out with the pH of this. And all right, the first one is level one. And it looks like about a 9.9 .9 pH. And then level 2. About a 10.3 pH. And then level 3. About a 10.8 pH. Okay, that's a nice respectable range of pH. I thought I saw 10.9 in there, and it did go up to 10.9 pH, okay. All right, so I'll turn that off and just store that now. And I'll go ahead and test the ORP. Okay, so level one. And that was a pretty high pH, so it, it does make sense. It's coming in like around a negative 500-ish ORP, maybe even negative 550. Call it negative 550 ORP. And then level 2 was also coming in pretty high pH.
and it's like about I'll say negative 700 ish ORP and level 3 looks like probably up to about a negative 800 ORP or higher I'll just call it negative 800 ORP. All right, very good. So now I'll move on and test the next ionizer. just have a tiny little flood here. I think I must not have had the filters properly seated or something on the time. <laughs> kind of had a little flood. Let's wipe that up and then we'll continue. When you're doing a lot of things like this, this type of thing could happen easily. All right, so the next thing is the Athena. Now, what, one thing I like about the Athena and, you know, the several ionizers is the flow control knob. I think that's very handy. So, as far as I know, the water's already onto it, and I can just go ahead and turn the flow control knob. Oops, but let me put it at level one. Let me grab a pitcher because I, I like to have it pouring at that level for at least a tiny bit before I take my sample. So, all right. All right, so that's level one. Let's put that there. I'm going to move it up to level two. Just let it pour a little bit to acclimate to that new level. All right, so now I'll pour a sample. All right, and now I'll move it up to level three. Another thing I like about the Athena is that it does a continuous cleaning, so you don't have the acid wash to contend with. That's really nice. All right, I'm going to go ahead and take my sample. All right. So. Now I'll just start out with the pH. All right, so ten point five six, ten point six for level one. Eleven for level two. You know, I might have the power booster set uh, set on uh, high, and a uh, level three, eleven point two. Hold on, let me just double check because I do want to see what the power booster is set on here. No, it's set on medium. Hmm. All right. Well, <clears throat> I'll uh, go ahead and test the ORP. Okay, level one looks like about a probably going to get to negative eight hundred. 
All right, so I'm just going to call it at negative 800, I think. Okay, so negative 800, well, I think that normally level 1 comes in uh, less alkaline than that. <laughs> so, and it looks like um, level 2, probably like a negative 820-ish, I'll say. All right, and then level 3. And it's probably going to be like a negative 840, I think. Something like that. I'll just call it a negative 830. All right. So that's um, the Athena. The next one is the Melody. Hold on. Oh. I have to kind of move things down a little bit. All right. Let me grab the picture. And the Melody is another one that has a flow control valve, so I can get it started flowing. And these uh, machines are all at very varied price ranges. But I just wanted you to see that the pH and the ORP so far is just awesome of these different ionizers. So a lot of it is the taste of the individual. What, what you know, just as provided it's one of the better ionizers, um, it will give you a good pH and an OR, good ORP. All right, well, I'm just going to go ahead and take my level one sample now. All right, now I'm going to switch it up to level two. Just let it acclimate to that. Now, one thing, the Melody's been around for a very long time. I'm going to go ahead and just take my uh, sample. Um, I've, I've seen Melody's literally five years old. And one thing about the Melody, it does have a form of continuous cleaning. You will not need to wait for an acid wash with the Melody. And um, the way it cleans... All ionizers clean with what's called an acid wash, but with the Melody, it the acid, acid wash is basically a reversing of the polarity inside the water cell. But with the Melody, the, the polarity reverses every time you turn it on. It will go to the opposite polarity of, of the last time you were pouring. And that is very nice. It's a basically mechanical form of continuous cleaning. And it was really the first ionizer to have any such thing like continuous cleaning. And um, it it's actually makes for a very consistent pH and ORP, something that you can depend on no matter how old the ionizer is. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start with pH. 